you guys are doing well and had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, we did. We did. And um, we ate too much and now we're here in our big baggy clothes because we don't fit into it. <laughs> I'm thankful for um, elastic waistbands. Yes. Those elastic. are the best because you don't feel it until you put your jeans on on Monday and go, oh my gosh. I, I got had... stretchy pants. I oh. love stretchy pants. <laughs> stretchy jeans. I stretchy guess that's jeans. the answer. I'm not sure. It's <laughs> like elastic waist. <laughs> Hopefully you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving. We did. Um, Father-in-law got locked out of the house. There was so much chaos. He took the dog's potty and didn't know the code to get back in the house. <laughs> but have you ever had it where your house is so chaotic that uh, you just uh, things get lost in the shuffle? He's pounding the door and we're not Calling our it. cell phones, nobody's answering. So either we were passed out with food, but we food were having coma. so much fun, it was so loud in our house, and hopefully you guys had a loud, loving Thanksgiving and uh, full of lots of things. But we're coming Absolutely. down to Christmas, we're talking about yeah. life, and hopefully you guys are finding uh, life in Jesus on your spiritual journey. Uh, we're here to encourage you guys, and that's what we're doing today. We're talking about um, our Heavenly Father versus our Earthly Father. And you know, sometimes it's crazy because sometimes our dad will ask us to do things that makes no sense to yeah. us. And um, we're so frustrated, but yet it's for our benefit. And, and our Heavenly Father does the same thing. He asks of us to do certain things. It may hurt or it may be something very difficult, but God asks us to because it's for our benefit. It's not, you know, for him, but he's, it's for our benefit. I think one of the challenges we talk about our Heavenly Father is we, we project our earthly fathers onto our Heavenly Father. And sometimes that's a really good thing. You know, I have a great dad and you have a great dad and, um, you know, and stepdad. We, we, we have wonderful parents, but sometimes I remember I was preaching one time and I was using the word Heavenly Father and a lady came up to me and said, will you stop using the word Father and associating with Jesus and, and, and God? And I was like, what are you talking about? She goes, because my father abused me so bad, I get this picture of God doing the same thing to me. And I was just taken back. Yeah. But the fact is he is the ultimate father and he cares more than anything else on this earth uh, uh, cares about us. And so that's an amazing Absolutely. thing. So we have to kind of look at God from a new perspective. Absolutely, and, and, and I always say too is if you had a bad experience with your physical father on earth that everything that you didn't have in a father is your heavenly father. You know, so you can experience the worst of the worst on this earth, but your heavenly father is, is everything imaginable that you could even imagine him to be. And, and I love it in, where it says in Isaiah that it says his ways are better than our ways. And, and you know, and that's so true. Um, and, and I'm guilty of it myself so many times that, you know, I, I always think my way is better yeah and then you bump your head up against that wall and you realize that okay God you're right your way is so much better and if we would just take the easy road and listen to him the first time <laughs> I know, I know. we wouldn't have these experiences but that's part of our life maybe you're struggling with um, having your own way and thinking that's a better way that you know sometimes you just gotta let go and let God yeah. and, and give him that control yeah. it's kind of like being a, as a father you know I want to teach our, our kids um, you know I think I think a lot of things are, are better. My ways are better. And our yet, ways are only Isn't the that part way. of parenting is trying to convince them that our ways are better. But, but in, in fact, way. I'm becoming my dad now. You know, it's crazy. But at the same time, God ultimately sees his bigger picture and understands all things. And, and it's he has a lot of responsibility as a father, to be thinking, if you think about it. You He's know, got a lot of children. He's got a lot of children. He's got a lot of children with a lot of problems. With a lot of stuff going on. And, uh, <laughs> but I like what you said, um, how there's a fine line of, you know, controlling or your way is better. But there's also, God gives us free will. You right. know, and, and same thing as parents, as you're letting your children go, um, you give them the free will, but you also want to encourage them and give them advice, yeah. you know, and, and a little wisdom. God gives us the same thing. He gives us that free will, but he loves us so much. Yeah. And so his ways are ultimately better than our way. So stop fighting that and, and, and let him let It's him a do daily it. struggle. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you what, you guys, I have struggled with that my entire life. And I have made some awful decisions based upon my way versus his way. And when I finally go, okay, God, it's your way Amen. and let go, that's where you find peace and freedom and go, okay, stop fighting that. There's no reason right. to have that control. Why do we try to take that control from him? That's right. Well, five minute church, trust your heavenly father. He knows best. That's our encouragement this week. Trust, trust him. He knows what's better. No matter what you're going through and Amen. whatever that decision may be, God's way is better than your way.
Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Trust him. Trust us. <laughs> we love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you need anything, we're here for you. Reach out to us on the app and thank you guys for tuning in. Absolutely. And if you have a specific prayer request, we've had so many people reaching out oh, to us. Our prayer request is getting so our small. List our list is, is long. Huge. And we pray for people individually, daily. We have an awesome prayer team. So please reach out to us. We love you and, and we care and, and we're here for you. So hope you guys have an awesome week. Go in peace.